Sir Jet, and welcome back to my vlog. I know it's been a couple of months since I've done this, but I felt inspired and thought I would uh, give you a new one today. So um, today I'm going to talk about myself a little. <laughs> um, basically, what I've been through the last few months, I thought it was a great um, teaching tool to give all of you. Um, so basically, as you knew from if you've been watching the vlogs that I moved back to Arizona and I've been living with my parents for uh, quite a while now and um, there's various reasons for that but what happened was um, I just found myself here and uh, tried to make the best of it and so I you know was doing a part-time job and I was trying to get a local following, and um, things just were not working out. Um, basically, um, the only job I could get at the time was um, a Starbucks kiosk in a grocery store. And it was, I'm not saying that's a bad job for anybody, but I'm saying it was not the right job for me. Because there was a lot of conforming involved and I in general am very not conforming <laughs> um, I have any I just recently resigned and as you can see I don't even have anything on my nails because you're not allowed to paint your nails which was like torture for me <laughs> um, but basically um, what happened in that situation was it was a very demanding job they were very short staffed and they had me working full-time hours and I was allergic to something in the store. My eyes were always watering. And, um, I couldn't wear any makeup actually on my face either. And you had to wear a uniform and you basically had to operate the entire kiosk by yourself 90% of the time. So you had to do all the drinks, all the cleaning, all the inventory, and it was very stressful. And the deciding factor of this isn't working for me. I was just one day washing dishes and I just looked down at my hands and um, I noticed how much my hands had changed. And they were no longer the hands of a, a pop singer. They were the hands of a very unhappy worker. <laughs> and they were just destroyed with all the washing and cleaning that you have to do all day. And I realized, you know what, I really don't belong here. And that was the start of that. And simultaneously, I did try to create um, a local following here in Phoenix, and it just was not working out. I, I hired somebody who I met who did a lot of shows here as a drag queen, and I, I tried to, you know, have her get me gigs, and I tried to get some of my own gigs, and in the end, it was four gigs that were not bad, but... Um, it didn't lead to more gigs, and I, I felt stuck again because I, you know, I'm I'm trying to put myself out there, and people just aren't responding here, and I don't really know what to do because if I don't have performing and I don't have a budget to make new music or anything, then I'm just stuck there at the Starbucks kiosk, not knowing <laughs> where my life is heading, <laughs> and um, I went through a very deep depression through all this because it was not only that but my family um, was also going through some drama and it affected me. It had nothing to do with me but simultaneously I was living with them and I had to feel those feelings and um, for those of you who don't know I am an empath so I can feel um, other people's energy at a much higher um, rate than a normal person does so it, it, when I'm around people who are not in a good mood it, it um, it makes it really much harder on me than um, a normal person would be when they're around people who are in bad moods. <laughs> um, so what I did was I went um, online and I just looked up a lot of spiritual healing stuff and I ended up going to Sedona for a day retreat. And uh, I went to this couple's home who do these healings. And it was during that reading that um, the woman, when she was giving me a reading, she said, um, by living here and by doing what I've done, I formed a, a persona that is not me. And 
the the shape she was making with her hand that she was like pushing them out here like I was forming a mask um, you know somebody who I wasn't what who I, who I really am not and that's true I've had to um, by living here strip myself of all almost all my pop star identity and um, it really hit me hard because I I thought here I am trying to make things happen but at the same time um, I'm developing into somebody who isn't really me, who's this, um, because I can put on a facade very well, I can go in and I can do work, and I can pretend that nothing's wrong, and I'm, I'm really good at, um, customer service and, um, being really happy all the time, even though on the inside I'm, I'm crying and dying, um, and so it made sense, and, um, through that I kind of realized, you know what, um, it really is time for me um, to stop what I'm doing because I've become so much of what I'm not that I'm not being who I really am as an entertainer. Um, and so I made, I've made the decision that I'm going to move back to Los Angeles um, by the end of the year and um, maybe pick up where I left off and see what I can do. <laughs> um, but the, the moral of the story is that um, when you've done so much of what you don't want to do, you can't, you begin to realize what it is you really want. And I've never not wanted what I wanted. What I've always wanted was to be, um, you know, a great singer and influential person in the world. And um, but by living here, I've gone through so much of what that not is, what that is not, <laughs> that I. It, it makes the, the drive to succeed even stronger. And so that's what I kind of want to, what I want to teach you today is to really listen to um, what your heart is saying when you're in a, a situation that makes you feel miserable. And it will, um, you know, tell you what you need to do and where you need to go. And the answers might not always be there just like that. But you will um, come to know what you need to know when you're ready to receive it. And you should know the difference between I'm struggling because this is something I have to do and I'm struggling because I'm in the wrong place. And um, I can't tell you which is which. You're going to have to figure it out when you're there. <laughs> if you feel like your life is falling apart, but you have to keep going versus my life is falling apart and I have to do something else. Um, they're two very different feelings, but um, just exploring your options will probably give you what it is you need to hear, whether it is you need to stay there, whether you need to move on. So that's my lesson for today. Um, be true to yourself. Um, live a life you want to live and don't listen to what other people say to tell you how to live your life. And that's that for now. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos more often because I'm hearing a lot of feedback that people like my videos and um, I thought that I, I'd try the makeup tutorial next even though this is like the extent of makeup I know how to do. <laughs> I can teach you variations of the smoky eye um, and perhaps you'll, you'll wear some and you'll um, Instagram them back to me. <laughs> yeah, we can compare who's better at smoky eye, you or me. <laughs> uh, so thank you, everybody, and I um, I hope to talk to you soon. And again, thank you, Sergio, for my beautiful earrings. He gave these to me, a fan, Sergio, my fan, um, as a belated birthday gift. And I, I love it. It's fun. I think he got it at Claire's. <laughs> so thank you, and um, have a wonderful day. <laughs>